So now we're taking a look at Ruffity 3 Cheat Sheet, uh, and just we're going to summarize everything that we have learned about Ruffity 3. So Ruffity 3 is a DNS provider to register and manage domains, create record sets, think GoDaddy or Namecheap. Okay, there's seven different types of uh, routing policies, starting with simple routing policy, which allows you to input a single or multiple IP addresses to randomly choose an endpoint at random. Then you have uh, weighted routing, which splits up traffic between different weights assigned, so percentages. Latency-based routing, which is based off of routing traffic to the uh, based on region for the lowest possible latency for users. So it's not necessarily the, the closest geolocation, but the, the lowest latency, okay? We have a failover routing, which uses a health check, uh, and you set a primary and a secondary, and it's going to fail over to the secondary if the primary health check fails. You have geolocation, which routes traffic based on the geolocation. Um, so this is uh, uh, based on geolocation would be like North America or Asia. Uh, then you have geo proximity routing, which can only be done in traffic flow and allows you to set biases so you can set basically like this map of uh, boundaries uh, based on the, the different ones that you have. You have multi value answer, which is identical to uh, simple, uh, simple routing. The only difference being that it uses a health check in order to do that. We looked at traffic flow, which is a visual editor for chaining uh, routing policies. You can version those uh, record, uh, those policy records for easy rollback. We have alias record, which is AWS's smart DNS record, which uh, detects uh, IP changes for AWS resources and adjusts them automatically. Always want to use alias record uh, when you have the opportunity to do so. You have Route 53 Resolver, which is a hybrid uh, solution, so you can connect your on-premise and cloud, uh, so you can network between them. And then you have health checks, which can be created uh, to monitor and uh, and automatically fail over to another endpoint. And you can have health checks monitor other health checks to create um, a chain of reactions uh, for detecting issues um, for endpoints.